Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. In this lecture today, we will be again solving another problem based on motion curves. So here is the question and from this diagram we have to find VT diagram and we have been provided with AT diagram and we have to construct a VT diagram and a ST diagram. So here we have a negative axis too in this question. So let us calculate the values for VT diagram first. So first of all we will be doing VT diagram. So here there is one peculiarity is the point here is not given to us. That is the time here is not been provided to us. But now if you see the figure here it is 5 and here it is 15 and it is coming down from 8 to 8. So it is very ob uh, obvious without calculation also that it would be 10. But sometimes if we have a very uh, you know different uh, numbers that is complicated numbers so where we cannot find this value directly so we can use a similar triangle method that is this triangle if you see here and this triangle if you see here both are forming a similar triangle so we can directly use that considering one part to be x so if the total we consider it to be x or if we consider this part to be x then the other would be accordingly defined so this is for this question it is 10 here so considering first we will start from this part so that is let us say when t is equals to 5 seconds so v at 5 would be this is a triangle so area under this curve that is a t curve would be the velocity difference change in velocity so that would be 1 by 2 base is 5 into height is 8 so that would be v 5 equals to 20 meters per second. Next is we have V at 10. So V at 10 here would be it is an again a linear graph are also forming a triangle. So that would be half base is again 5 and this is again 8 but the initial velocity at 5 here is from the velocity from 0 to 5 so that is plus 20 which we have already found out here so if we calculate this it would become come as 40 meters per second next is velocity at 15 so velocity at 15 if we see it is again a triangle that is area under this curve again a triangle so that would be half base your base is 5 again and this is minus 8 plus the initial velocity at 15, uh, initial velocity at 10 that is here what we have calculated v at 10 seconds so that would be 40 if we calculate this it comes out to be 20 meters per second the next one is velocity at 20 here so here also if you see it is a, a linearly increasing graph so it is the area would be according to the triangle form that is half the base is 5 into the height is minus 8 plus the initial velocity what we have at 15 that is 20 once we calculate this we get this as 0 so v20 is v at 20 seconds is 0 v at 15 seconds is 20 10 seconds is 40 and 5 seconds is 20 again so let us construct a graph based on the results that we have so let's say this is my v that is in meters per second and this is t that is in seconds so this is point 0 and the time difference we have is 5 
टेन फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी एंड हाइट वाइज वॉट वी हैव इज ट्वेंटी एंड फोर्टी अगेन इट इज कमिंग बैक टू ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी सो आई एल जॉइन दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू माई कन्वीनियंस सो दैट इज एट फाइव एट वी फाइव आई हैव ट्वेंटी सो आई एल जॉइन दीज टू देन एट वी टेन आई हैव फोर्टी एट वी फिफ्टीन आई हैव ट्वेंटी अगेन and at v at v20 i have the velocity to be zero so this is what we have so let us construct a graph now so from uh, 0 to 5 if we see the acceleration here is increasing from 0 to 8 and also the velocity is increasing from 0 to 20 meters per second so and this is a linear graph so from 0 to 0 to 5 seconds the velocity graph would be a parabolic curve by increasing 1 degree to this curve so that would be a parabolic curve next we have is at 10 seconds we have 40 meters per seconds to be the velocity but the acceleration is decelerating here from 8 to 0 so this is decreasing but this is still increasing so it would be a parabola but a inverse one now why it is inverse because here it is decelerating now next next if we see this uh, this graph is decelerating again from 0 to minus 8 and also this is decreasing from 40 to 20 so both the quantities are decreasing so it would be uh, inverse parabola as well as it would drop down to 20 now again next part is i have the velocity i mean acceleration again increasing in an increasing condition from minus 8 to 0 and the velocity but still the velocity here if you see from 20 to it is coming down to 0 so velocity is uh, decreasing till zero but the acceleration is increasing so one of the quantities is, is increasing so it would be a positive parabola but coming downwards so here this all the figures here are parabolas now once we have now here Well, once we have the bt graph we can move on to calculate the st graph so for calculations for st diagram so second part is st diagram so the calculations is let's say s at t is equals to 6 seconds so it would be area under the bt curve so that is this curve which is a positive parabola and the area would be 1 by 3 base is 5 height is 20 and if we calculate this we get 33.33 meters next is s is equals to s at t is equals to 10 seconds we have area under this curve so it is divided into two sections if you see one is this rectangle and one is this inverse parabolic curve so for the rectangle it is 5 to be the base and height is 20 plus this is a inverse parabola which is 2 by 3 and the base of this parabola is again 5 into the height is again 40 minus 20 that is 20 plus the initial velo initial displacement initial velocity at 5 displacement at 5 so here the initial displacement at 5 would be 33.33 so that we have to consider now if we calculate this sorry this is was 5 seconds so we if we calculate this for s is equals to 10 seconds we get it as 200 
actually 199.97 or something so we can write it as 200. So now let us move on to the next part that is uh, displacement at 15 seconds. So displacement at 15 seconds if we see again we have this rectangle and this parabolic inverse parabolic curve for the area calculation. So first of all we will take the uh, rectangle that is 5 into the height is again 20 plus area under this parabolic curve inverse 1 so it would be 2 by 3 base is 5 and height is 20 again plus the initial velocity at 10 so that would become 200. So once we have this calculated we get the answer to be 36, 366.67 meters. Now the final uh, displacement that is displacement at t is equals to 20 seconds. So it would be only the area under this curve which is a positive parabola. So that would be 1 by 3, the base is 5 and the height is again 20 plus the initial velocity, uh, initial displacement at 15 that is 366.67. If we calculate this, our S20 would come out to be 400 meters. Again, it is 399 point something, but we can write it as 400. So now let us uh, draw the graph for the same. So I will draw the graph here. So this is T in seconds and S in meters. So T we have 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds and for S we have 33.33. .33. Next is 200, next is 366.67 and lastly 400 meters. So now uh, we will construct a graph. So for my convenience, I Okay, so now uh, from 0 to 5, if we see the velocity here is increasing from 0 to 20 and here the, acceler uh, the displacement is also increasing from 0 to 33.33. So it would be a parabola which, uh, sorry, it would be a cubic curve which will be increasing as here also we have, as here we have a parabola so it would be. 1 degree up. Next at s is equals to 10 we have 200 which is increasing from 33.33 to 200 meters 200 meters and from here also the velocity is increasing from 20 to 40. So here also it would be a positive parabola. Again after uh, this uh, 200 the displacement is again increasing from 200 to 36.67 so this is increasing but the velocity here is decreasing from 40 to 20 so this quantity is increasing but that is dropping down so it would be uh, inverse parabola next again the velocity is dropping to 0 but the displacement is increasing so this would also be a inverse parabola. So if I go on and draw a smooth curve it would be increasing and then a inverse parabolic graph. So this completes the problem. Hope you understood. Thank you.